Morning, welcome to another video. It's Monday. I'm gonna take you for a little walk up to the mountains. Have a look at the mountain pass and have a look over the view of Acudia where the aerials are. So I thought you might like to come with us, so come and come for the adventure. So we're gonna start off in the Bellevue complex, just by the um the go-kart track. And I'll show you how to make a start, go past the um the underground church and then we join the um, mountain path from there. It'll take about just over an hour, about an hour and ten minutes give or take. It's a lovely view if you go up there. If you do, if you do come up there, make sure it's being a nice bottle of water and just enjoy it. It's a beautiful walk, a beautiful view from the top. So that's the go-karts on your left hand side. There's a little path here on the right that we're going to be taken and it heads back down to Bellevue complex if you look on my left hand side just coming up now you'll see a little road straight dirt track that's where we're going down now this is also the walk we take on when we go up to the underground church and that is the mountain we'll be heading towards So we just approach into the little roundabout now, which is just there. And like always, we'll be taking the right hand fork. That's the wooden signs you need if you want to see them. That is to the church or to the mountain. And we'll be just going up that road that you'll see shortly in front of you. And then just continue up this road I was at until you see this road on your right. Again, it's signposted in front of you. Zoom into the signpost. There you are. And then just turn right here. This is the little dirt track that takes you up to the underground church. We've been to many occasions on our walks over the lockdown with Snowy. And then we just go to the main road, cross the main road, rejoin the path and it nicely takes you up the top, the side of the mountain. Yes, we are still in the, um, the lockdown of some kind. It's really nice to have a lot more freedom. For a long time, as you know, we were stuck in, if you look at my films. Some weeks I put my hair out, some films I was happy. This is the underground church here. It's nice, to, we've had a good few films coming here during the lockdown with Snowy. She loves it around here. However, it's quite quiet at the moment, as you can see. And um, that is the rest of the mountain path we'll be taking. So this is actually where the, um, the hill starts, as you can see here. Up here you see the buggies, mountain bikers, motorbikers, um, all come up and use this road up here. So when you look into the mountain from the uh, complex or from the strip, you always look at the front of it. But this road is actually taking you around the back. So it's up, that's why it doesn't look so steep when you're walking up. Because before I walked up for the first time, I actually thought we were gonna have to walk up the steep parts. This is really quite a gentle little road as it leads around the back. Every time you just turn another corner, you've got another view to look for. And obviously this rubs just come up from that path. I couldn't have chosen a better day to do this walk because it's not over sunny, it's not over hot. I don't really don't think you'd have wanted to do this walk when it is exceptionally hot in the summer. Or 
what makes it a good cycle route this is you've got the obviously the ups and downs as you can see by this none of the hills as you're going up are, are very steep until you get right to the very top but you've got some lovely um downwards as you see by this one here I wouldn't fancy falling off a bicycle coming down here, you understand? But I should imagine if you are a keen mountain biker, this would be quite a nice ride. Obviously being such an off-road road, you can't come up here in a car. But you can come up here in a buggy, so you do the little four-wheeled buggies and things. They do organised trips. They go all over Kudia so you can have a good look. When I did one of these trips, actually brought us up this way it was a lovely day out I must admit so that was one of the inclines I've just told you about coming up here as it's getting more and more wild here you actually begin to forget where you are half an hour behind me also it's the actual town the main road and all that but coming up this far you could be in a completely different country, couldn't you? This really does take me back to when we were young. Me and the brother would go and investigate the woods together. Take some drinks, a pack up and go for hours on end to see what we could find. If you've seen the little film I had about my brother Richard and myself doing paragliding, that was done by the top of this hill. That was a really nice day out as well. So this is where we'll be going up this hill now. So you see this um, word, um, road markings there and little map. Now in my opinion, this is where it actually starts getting steep now. But as you can see here, we've actually turned onto a, a tarmac road, which makes it a lot easier to walk up. But this is, as I said, this is the steep part now. Up to now, the rises haven't been too bad. But as I said, this is getting steep now, but we are getting to the top of the mountain. But then again, the views are getting so much more spectacular as well. And as you can see, I'm still battling the hill. And this is as far as I've come. That is where we're heading towards. As far as I can remember, it's just two more pushes now. This hill we're just looking towards now, and as you hear up around the corner, there is a monster of a hill. The view is just getting nicer and nicer, isn't it? As I said, all the way up there. It's well worth coming just for the view, isn't it? I haven't been on a proper walk now since before the lockdown, and it is showing, believe me, it is showing. <laughs> So this is the start of the top, as you can see. The view gets a little bit nicer to go around the next corner. And then when you see them as big as they are now, you actually realise you are quite near the top. You can actually see from up here how much land there is here, can't you? This side, there's loads of green land over this side of Acuna, isn't there? When you look over to my right hand side, you can actually see how built up it is from up here. This actually gives me some idea of what it looked like before the hotels arrived and things. Gives you some rough idea, doesn't it? Now when you look at it from this, all this built up area, and then come around the corner to all the green, it does make you wonder a little bit, doesn't it? Somewhere over there, that is the old town. You remember down the hill a little bit? 
I said to you, you've got the two, two steep parts in you to get up. Well, just round this corner here, this is, as I call it, the monster. There's no messing about with this part up here. Just when you actually think you've made it, you actually see this in front of you. But without the hill, you wouldn't get the views, would you? And then round the corner again to the final bit, which nice just takes nicely takes us up to the top. And then again, if you've ever thought about the power gliding, this is where it actually starts off. Just here. So this is a few you see. Then the man tells you to keep walking. So you start walking, walking, walking. And then he says, when you feel the wind taking off, don't fight. And then you walk over here. You think you're just going to run out of space. And then you're over there with all this in front of you when you look down. Would I recommend the paragliding? Definitely. I really would. So of course, the higher you've come, they're better the views, aren't they? And the views go all the way over the back of Acudia. I'll take you there a second or two. But let's just have a look for this for the moment. And then if you come past in between the two aerials, two transmitters on the stone path, you actually get to the back of um, the back of the mountain, which obviously has got a different views all over the um, the back of Alcudia towards um, Poyenza, the main road that goes down to um, Palma, and all around there. Of course, that's the Porta Poyenza. There, she start off, and then we come over to the more um, Greenland. It's such a lovely place to come and have a walk up here. I mean, the views are spectacular, as you've seen. It's a, it's a bit of a, a hard hill if you like to come up there, especially if you're not used to walking. But if you do get the opportunity to come up one way or another, but I wouldn't drive a car, obviously. It's just a lovely place to come. And obviously now when you come up there, you've got to go back down. So off we go then. So now we're on the descend. And it does make me wonder, because these, these last of the hills that sit you on the way up are quite steep. It does make me wonder which way is the hardest, the walk up or the walk down. They both have this, uh, their hardships in the walks, but they're just of two different kinds, aren't they? Walking up or walking down steep hills. So this is the bottom of the very steep built, as I called it, just by the house that I showed you in the road sign, the map. Now we're going to going to be taking a left which will neatly take me back to the church the underground church well, as you've seen it's a very pleasant walk up here um so i hope you enjoy you enjoyed today's film if you did please give us a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and don't forget my facebook page love and love Mallorca. take care of everyone won't you and take care of yourselves Thank you and I'll catch up with you in the next film. Bye bye now.